Oh, hello there, yes, hurtling on to the end of the week. Hope you're staying cool. Um, today, just thought before I go into a sort of longer video, I think tomorrow, um, to talk about ice cream vans. And apparently, uh, the uh, borough of Greenwich in London has basically decided not to have ice cream vans at certain spots because they block roads and they're not environmentally friendly. Uh, which has got Carol Malone up in arms. I'm increasingly thinking that Carol Malone doesn't exactly exist and in fact is an AI generated thing. Um, she's a woman who she's a woman who you, basically that nan you never want to visit for blindingly obvious reasons. And yet um, she's very, very cross about people blocking roads in other circumstances. Presumably if eco protesters sold ice cream, she'd be fine. Let's watch her on the Jeremy Vine show. What these people are doing, this is lazy protesting. Plonking your bum on a road is not saving the planet. You want to save the planet? Get involved politically. Get involved with campaigning with the government. Get into government and change government policy. Plonking your backside on a road and well, stopping hard-working no, people. Protests work, don't they? Protests it work. It work. Well, they, look at Nigel work. Farage. He's protests. never been an MP. He changed the whole history of this country. They are not... Pro these protests... Well, maybe, maybe he did. This protest is not going to work. Or, you know, I saw there was one taxi driver on YouTube the other day. He got out of his cab and he said, you people are stopping me earning money. He said, I've paid 70 grand for this cab, which is eco-friendly. What have you guys done? And that is true. He said, You're, he said I, I'm doing my bit. And I looked at a lot of those protests. A lot of them are very young people. A lot of them are students and, and the rest are pensioners. Oh, look at this. I, do, I worry that at some point but someone, someone is going to get hurt yeah, because yeah. people's that van driver was not going to stop there. Their, their, their frustrations are he, boiling over and I yeah. don't blame them. The thing is, if there was like a big comet... Flood, like flying towards Earth, and you knew that you had like a minute to tell everybody you love. That's you kind of no, how Gemma, they Gemma, you wouldn't do this These though, kids would you? talk about like we don't understand that there is a climate emergency. Of course we do, and every single person in this country let's, wants to help. Let's take a call. Them. Let's get. Yes, indeed. You see, uh, even when she's sort of confronted with a, a very simple, sort of blindingly obvious statement, she merely dismisses it because her programming won't let her get any further. And I'm not convinced that's an actual person. I think Jim Henderson, if you were to say to him, can you mock up some right wing older white woman, would come up with exactly that puppet. Anyway, um, we're going to get, um, I don't know. Uh, continue uh, having to have this stuff thrust at us whereby whereby although she's very aware of climate change she just doesn't want to do anything about it because it might get in the way of her having to walk an extra five minutes to get an ice cream as I always say libertarians they hate having to walk don't they it's a crime anyway have a lovely day